what's going on everyone and welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial i am going to show you how to get information about all the ec2 instances state and status check via lambda function so let's say we have a scenario and we want to check the status or state of the instances uh, that are running or maybe they are in stop state or they are in terminating state right and let's say that we want to store the instance state and status check information in the form of logs in s3 bucket or maybe we want to send the notification to a certain user in case of any criticality we notice right so let's see how we can achieve this well uh, in this tutorial uh, we are only going to see how to get status and state of all the instances and probably i will create the follow-up tutorial for storing the state and status check information in the form of logs in s3 bucket and as well for sending a notification in the form of uh, email or sms so let's get started assuming you have already logged in into the aws console and before we start uh, here we are going to use three services of aws uh, that is iam role ec2 instances and of course lambda function so let's get started with ec2 instances let's navigate to ec2 management console So here we are going to create uh, one or two instances so that we can check the instance state and status check information for those instances. So uh, as you can see I had already created two instances and kept one in running state and another is in stop state. So you can create uh, maybe two or more than two instances if none of the instance is in running or stop state or if you already have the instance then we can just move on so once the instance is created uh, we will navigate to the iam role service so here we will require iam role for lambda function so here we will require two permissions one is a uh, basic lambda execution permission and the another is the read only ec2 instance permission so let's click on create role so here we will select the service since uh, we will be using this role in the lambda function so we will select here as the lambda service create next So the policies are still loading so here we will require two policies that is lambda basic execution rule so as we can see here it will give permission to to cloud watch logs right permission right so that uh, our logs can be populated over there and another policy is ec2 read only access since we only want to fetch the information about instance state and status check so we will only uh, attach the amazon ec2 read only access policy click on next let's say ec2 status let's go state review it we will name it as sc2 underscore status underscore state underscore check and create rule so once the rule is created uh, we will jump to the aws lambda function so let's go to the lambda management console
and create a new function so let's name it as ac2 underscore status underscore state I will select runtime as python 3.6 here we will select the choose an existing role and in the existing role drop down we will select the role that we have just created that is ec2 status state check and click on create function so here we are going to use uh, aws sdk for python uh, that is boto3 for checking the status and state information about the instances that are running or maybe in stop state or maybe uh, they are terminating so let's have a look at the instance state that we are going to check so these are the possible values or these are the possible state uh, that an EC2 instance can be in so it's pending, running, shutting down, terminated, stopping and stopped along with these integer codes. Also let's have a look at the status check of an EC2 instance. So basically there are two types of checks that is being performed. That is system status checks and instance status checks. So system status check says that monitor the AWS system on which your instance runs so this can detect uh, various problems underlying problems within the instance where it is running right so let's see so these are the following examples of problems that can cause system checks to fail uh, for like loss of network connectivity loss of system power or any software issue or hardware issue and same goes for instance status checks so these are the uh, this may be the following problems that can cause instance status checks to fail like failed system status checks incorrect networking or start of configuration exhausted memory corrupted file system incompatible kernel so you can later refer to this documentation in case you if you want to go through in depth so let's get back again to lambda management console so as I said here we are going to use uh, Py AWS software development kit uh, that is Boto3 so I will just go ahead and import Boto3 then we will define the client or you can use any variable that you want so I will say Boto3.client followed by and so AWS service so here we will be leveraging or we will be using EC2 service because we want to fetch the status check and state information of the EC2 instances right so once the uh, service is defined we will define a variable called status you can define any variable that you want uh, but uh, uh, I defined it as status followed by client dot a method name that is describe underscore instance underscore status so this is the method that that will fetch the information about ec2 instance and it will store into the status variable so yet we are not passing any parameter here but I think we need to pass one parameter is include all instances is equal to true if we don't pass any parameter then it takes include all instances as false by default so what it does is it will return only information about the running instances information about the instances who have stayed as running and it will not return the information about the instances that are in stop state or that are they are terminating or they are stopping or stopped so by passing the parameter called include all instances equal to true it will return information about all the instances 
either they are in stop mode or stopping or terminating or whatever state they are in right so once this is done uh, if we let me import we print so that oops from p print import we print we print status so let's go ahead and uh, save this and run this function let's define as test Oops, there is an error. Oh, it should be Boto three. Let's save it again. Test. So as we can see here, uh, it it returned instance statuses along with the availability zone instance id instance state as well as we can see the instance with this id is in stop state so while the instance is in stop state it won't return any any status right that we just saw so it will just return not applicable not applicable for the instances that are stopped let's look at another instance so again here it is availability zone instance id instance state so as we can see it returned running and the instance status is status is passed and again the system status uh, uh, it is again returned as passed so as we have seen here it it do two checks that is system status check and instance status check so both of them we can see here right that's instance status and system status and also we can have a look at the ec2 instance so as we can see the instance with this instance id have two of two checks passed right now let's uh, let's uh, print the specific specific information that we want let me define a for loop for i and status of oops status of instance statuses so what oops here is my mistake S T A T U S. So let's say I want to print the availability zone. Let me copy and paste from here. We'll say I of availability zone. Then I want the instance ID from here. then i want the instance state right then instance status I of and last but not least I want system status me comment this line let me save this and test it again
so as you can see here the availability zone instance id all the things that we wanted to display it here right so let me uh, navigate to ec2 instance and let me terminate this instance yes terminate so it's shutting down instance status so let me check it again here so as you can see earlier it was showing us its state as top since it, it was top and right now it's shutting down so it, it's showing us shutting down right so this is how uh, we can fetch the instance state and status check information of EC2 instances right so that's it for now guys so this is how you can fetch the status and state of EC2 instances via lambda function probably in the next tutorial I will show you that how we can upload this information in the form of logs in S3 bucket right and probably in the upcoming tutorial I will also demonstrate on sending an SMS notification or an email notification to an user in case of any criticality let's say certain instance is shutting down and, and we want to alert an user who manage this right so he can take certain actions so probably uh, I will get everything in the upcoming videos so that's it for now thanks for watching and see you next time thank you